Hello students, hope all of you are fine. This is your English lesson. Today we are going to read Unit 4, Extreme Weather from Oxford Modern English, Book 8. So we start our lesson. This is page number 46 from your book. First of all, words to know. Accumulate. Gather together. Build up. Adversely. Negatively. Biome, a large naturally occurring community of flora and fauna occupying a major habitat, for example, forest or tundra. Constitute, combine to form, contend to struggle to overcome, desalination, desalination plant, a large processing place. Where salts are extracted from sea water to make it into drinking water. Devastation, great destruction or damage. Drastic, extreme, drenched, wet, thoroughly soaked. Eco drones, unnamed flying vehicles that are used by researchers and scientists to help improve understanding of what is happening in the natural world. Hostile, unfriendly, inaccessible, unable to be reached, innumerable, too many to be counted, often used in exaggeration. Leeward, the side that is sheltered from the wind. Precipitation, rain, snow, sleet or hail that falls to or forms from condensation. The ground. Sparsely, thinly distributed or scattered. Thrive, grow or develop well. Venture, make a daring journey. Now come to the reading. Whether the weather be fine or whether the weather be not. Whether the weather be cold or whether the weather be hot. We will weather the weather, whatever the weather, weather we like it or not. Each part of the planet has its own cycles and variations in temperature, precipitation, dryness, heat and cold that constitute the weather in that area. In some places, the four seasons are easy to identify, whilst in others there is a sudden jump from winter to summer or little variation throughout the year. There are destinations that have reliably consistent weather and others where the weather is changeable. Humans have to contend with heat, cold, rain, wind, storms, fog, humidity and more. We have developed many ways of protecting and shielding ourselves from the weather and the conditions it creates such as umbrellas, sun screen, air conditioning, fans, heaters and thermal clothing, etc. These and many other inventions mean that people can explore and live comfortably on even the more hostile area of the earth. However, despite the innumerable, innumerable, too many to be counted, advances in technology, the weather and extreme temperatures still create problems and have a drastic impact on mankind. Drastic extreme. Weather stations have been set up all over the world. They are used to measure temperature, rainfall, and other weather conditions. This data helps scientists to analyze, understand, and attempt to predict the weather. In some places, records have been kept for many years. However, in other places, the extreme conditions have made it almost impossible for scientists to set up or maintain recording equipment. Hottest and coldest. The hottest and coldest parts of the world are sparsely inhabited, sparsely scattered. With technological developments such as satellites that use infrared scans, infrared light is a type of light that feels warm but cannot be seen. And Eco drones 
scientists have been able to add to existing ground data collection methods and venture further venture there further into these difficult to access areas of the earth that are too hot or too cold in some places in pakistan the temperature can reach 50 degree centigrade the highest temperature ever recorded in pakistan is 53.5 degree centigrade which was recorded in Manjo the Aru Sin on 26 May 2010. At this temperature people are at risk from heat exhaustion, dehydration and death. They sit in cool baths but water warms up quickly and is usually scarce when temperatures are this high. Drink iced drinks and stay in air-conditioned buildings or rest in the shade. In the ancient civilizations in Egypt, Persia and North Africa, gardens were carefully crafted and planned to provide crop, shade and water and to create tranquil, tranquil uh, free from disturbance, cool areas in otherwise hot countries where there is fresh flowing water and shade producing trees there can be some relief from the heat there are a number of places on earth which compete for the highest temperature recorded in july 1913 a temperature of 56.6 .6 degree centigrade or 134 degree fahrenheit fahrenheit of ordinating a scale of temperature on which water freezes at 30 degree Set the record for the highest temperature ever recorded till then. This was at a weather station in a place called Furnas Creek in Death Valley, USA. In 1922, ground-based instruments in Al Azizia, Al Azizia, Libya, recorded a temperature of 58 degrees centigrade on September 30th. The high temperature that day was partly, part, partly due to winds from the south that blew in hot air from over the Sahara Desert. More recently, scientists have used satellite images to record data from the middle of deserts that are otherwise inaccessible. Satellite stands have an advantage over weather stations in another way too they measure the temperature on the land rather than just above it in in 2005 in the Lut desert in iran scientists measured the highest surface temperature ever of 70.7 degrees centigrade 159.3 fahrenheit Life does not thrive in extreme temperatures. Nothing, not even bacteria, lives in the middle of the Dashte Loth Desert. Similarly, the Ban Icy Desert, born of a land too poor to produce much or any vegetation. Ban Icy Desert of the Antarctic, Antarctic does not support life the coldest place in the world with a record lowest temperature of minus 91 degrees centigrade 133.6 fahrenheit is the is the antarctic ice sheet they are at russia's vostok ice station is a vast lake buried four kilometers below the ice this is a remote dangerous and rarely visited place measuring temperatures in these extreme locations is difficult but scientists keen to find out how cold it can get use data collected from ice stations and satellites to find out more about weather patterns however some very cold places on earth are inhabited inhabited life is tough in the coldest regions of russia canada mongolia greenland and in the state of alaska 
in the USA. Harsh dark winters with long periods where the temperature remains well below 0 degree centigrade are part of life for people in these regions. In the town of Omiyakon, Russia, which has a population of around 500 people, the average daily temperature in January has been recorded as minus 46 degrees centigrade. Driest and wettest. Some parts of the world are famous for their wetlands, waterways, storms, snow and rainfall, while other places are as well known for being dry, parched, parched dry and prone to drought drought an area where rainfall remains county or much below normal the wettest and driest places on earth are fascinating for a number of reasons a desert is defined as an area that receives less than 25 centimeter of precipitation a year deserts are renowned for their dry status one might imagine stretches of sand or dusty soil and rocks baking in the heat but there are different types of desert one third of the land on earth is part of the desert biome and is so dry that only specific plants and animals especially adopted to the environment can survive deserts are formed by weathering processes extreme temperatures cold at night and heat in the day break down rocks and winds blow away loose soil and sand. Global wind patterns the wind directions a direction across the earth, push clouds over tropical forests and mountain ranges that draw out all the moisture so that by the time the winds reach the desert regions, they are dry. Chile in South America has a high plateau in the north of the country called the called the Atacama Atacama Desert. Rainfall on the mountains to the east of the Atacama Desert creates a rain shadow on the desert so that no rain falls on the desert plateau. A rain shadow is a dry area on the leeward side of the mountainous area. The mountains block the passage of rain producing weather systems and cause a shadow of dryness behind them. The Atacama Desert is commonly known as the driest non-polar region in the world and may be the oldest desert on earth. The average rainfall is about 15 mm per year although some locations receive receive as low as 1 to 3 mm in a year and some weather stations in the Atacama have never received rain. This parched, parched dry land is spectacular, spectacular and draws sightseeing tourists as well as scientists. Clear skies which are perfect for stargazing, stargazing observing the star are one attraction vast sandy, sandy tracks, huge rocky peaks, wind sculpted cannons, sculpt create or repre, uh, represent something by carving, casting or other shaping techniques. And the sparkling salt flats also offer modern day explorers unfamiliar almost alien views that are a feast for the eyes for the camera laden tourists in sun production where traverse, traversing this arid landscape high on the chilean plateau between the pacific and the mountains it is a stunning sight however despite the atacama's reputation for aridity it is not the driest place on earth it may come as a surprise that Antarctica, which is seen as a land of snow and ice, is home to the driest place on Earth. Antarctica may provoke mental images of snowy landscapes, but amongst the ice, snow and cold lies a huge mountainous 
region that is almost entirely free of ice and snow this large ice free region has very low humidity and contains the dry valleys a desert where powerful winds rush down the sheer mountain walls at speeds of up to 320 kilo kph kilo per hour kilometer per hour heating and evaporating any ice water and snow so that there is no precipitation at all the landscape is so arid that scientists are very interested in studying it because it is the place on earth that is most similar to the conditions on the planet mars in contrast the wettest place on earth is drenched with downpours which fill the streams and rivers to bursting bursting point and sometimes beyond in meghalaya in meghalaya state india the yearly average rainfall is over 11 meters even in the drier months from december to february the average precipitation is 60 mm residents of the small state in northeast india whose lives are affected when the massive amount of rainfall causes devastation devastation great destruction by washing away power lines and homes do not complain about the rain this is because the monsoons also bring tourists to the area the rushing water cascading waterfalls cascading waterfalls and lush vegetation are sights that people want to see even if they have to stand under an umbrella to do so over centuries the rain has created a vast network of some of the longest and deepest caves in india which attract tourists and keen cavers from all over the world the village of the village of mosism in the village of mosism in meghalaya gets the little uh, gets the title of wettest place on earth with an average of 12 meters of rain per year the village is situated on the mountains and lies in the path of warm winds that carry rain filled clouds over from the bay of bengal bears are rather it is a stereotype stereotype type of british people that they spend a lot of time talking about the weather this might be because the temperature rain and wind can change day by day and hour by hour in the united kingdom although temperatures are not extreme and the four seasons are easily identified the weather in the uk is unpredictable it is likely to rain on 9 to 14 days in each month It is perfectly possible to have a cold day in the middle of the summer and warm sunshine on a winter's day. It is completely normal to have a range of weather in any one day. It's no wonder that the weather has had an impact on the English language, which is full of weather-related idioms. Unsurprisingly, the majority of these idioms contain references to rain. The weather can be powerful and dramatic, spectacular storms with thunder that booms and lightning that cracks across the sky, whirlwinds in the form of tornadoes, water spouts and land spouts, blizzards and heat waves. Sometimes there are also bizarre weather events in the uh, in the United Kingdom. You might hear the following exchange. I need some milk. I am going to walk to the shop. Don't forget your umbrella. It's raining cats and dogs. It's raining cats and dogs is a common idiom for heavy rain. There is no evidence that it has ever actually rained cats and dogs, but there are accounts of other animals falling from the sky. Raining fish. There have been reports of fish falling from the sky from various places around the world. in euro honduras there they have a yearly they have a yearly low vdps or fish rain celebration in singapore on february 22nd in 1861 fish appeared in puddles 
puddle a small pool of liquid especially of rain water on the pond after a big rainfall more recently there have been reports of fish rain in mo in moose jaw in canada and loreto in the philippines in 2013 spiders rained down on a town in brazil in 2000 Ten frogs and toads fell in Hungary twice, and perhaps the most bizarre of all of these is that in Bath, England, in 1894, it rained jellyfish. Exercises A comprehension. Answer the following questions. A. What are the three ways that humans have created to shield themselves from the weather? Answer is umbrella, sunscreen, air conditioning, etc. B. How have satellites helped scientists to measure temperatures in remote areas? Answer: With technological developments such as satellites that use infrared scans and eco drains, scientists have been able to add to existing ground data collection methods. More recently scientists have used satellite images to record data from the middle of desert that are otherwise inaccessible. See in what ways are parts of the world hostile to humans? Answer Some parts of the world are hostile to humans because they have extreme temperatures or weather conditions that make it difficult or impossible to live there. C D what are weather stations answer weather stations are places where equipment is set up to measure temperature rainfall or other weather conditions this data helps scientists to analyze understand and attempt to predict the weather E what are some of the ways we can find relief from a very hot weather answer some ways in which we can find relief from very hot weather taking cool bath but water warms up quickly and is usually scarce when temperatures are this high drinking ice drinks staying in air conditioned buildings or resting in the shade f where and when was the hottest temperature recorded Answer in 2005 in the Dasht-e-Lot Desert in Iran scientists measured the highest surface temperature ever of 70.7 degree centigrade G why is it hard to live a normal life if the temperature gets extremely hot Answer It is hard to live a normal life if the temperature gets extremely hot because people are at risk from heat exhaustion dehydration and death h what is the average daily temperature in omiyakon answer the average daily temperature in omiyakon in january is minus 46 degree centigrade i what is the driest place on earth and what makes it so dry answer the driest place on earth are the dry valleys of antarctica it is so dry because it is a desert with low humidity where powerful winds rush down sheer mountain walls these winds heat and evaporate all water so there is no precipitation at all j what is unusual about the weather in the uk answer the weather in the uk is unusual because it is unpredictable and it is completely normal to have a range of weather in any one day these questions are more difficult discuss them first k What is a rain shadow and what creates it? Answer: A rain shadow is a dry area on the leeward side of a mountainous area. The mountains block the passage of rain producing weather systems and cause a shadow of dryness behind them. 
L. Which two places mentioned in the text are affected by the mountains near them? How? Answer. Atacama in Chile, rainfall on the mountains to the east of the Atacama Desert creates a rain shadow on the desert so that no rain falls on the desert plateau. Mosism in Mosism in Meghalaya, warm winds carry rain. Filled clouds over from the Bay of Bengal. The clouds trapped over the mountains. Over the summer bring rainfall in massive and often continuous monsoon. The leagues. B. Working with words. Read the sentences below and then match the idioms in bold with the correct meaning. A. Anna isn't coming with us because she feels a little under the weather. Little under the weather. Number two, not feeling well. B, don't worry about me. I'm as right as rain after my knee operation. As right as rain. Six, to feel fine and healthy. See, he has his head into the clouds. If he seriously thinks he is going to get an award today, head in the clouds for to be out of touch of reality, to have ideas that may not be sensible or practical. D. I thought my cake would win the bake off until Joe turned up with the triple chocolate gay trucks and stole my thunder. Stole my thunder. Then when someone takes attention away from someone else. E. I am snowed under at work right now because two of my colleagues are on holiday. Snowed under seven to have so much to do that you are having trouble doing it all. F. It was awkward in my new class until Arshan broke the ice by telling us a joke. Broke the ice. Nine to say or do something to make someone feel relaxed or at ease in a social setting. G. Our science exam was a breeze. I am sure I will get top marks. Was a breeze. Five to be very easy to do. H. Thanks for inviting me to play tennis, but I can't this week. Can I take a rain check on that? Take a rain check. 1. Decline something now, but offer to do it at a later date. I. The children were about to arrive for the party, so, uh, so she sat on the sofa with a cup of coffee, enjoying the calm before the storm. The calm before the storm. 3. The quiet, peaceful period before a moment of great activity or uh, before a great activity. Or, ma'am, J. The project has been put on ice until our boss decides what to do next. Put on ice, 8. To postpone for another day. 2. Add suitable adjectives to the following nouns. A. Artificial rainfalls. B. Dry desert. C. White cliffs. D. Severe frostbite. E. Huge caves. F. High temperatures. G. Smooth plateau. H. Melting ice sheet. I. Undulating terrain. G. Uh, J. Harsh environment. K. Lush fields. L. Crazy Explorers. 3. Abbreviate the following. Insert apostrophes in the right places. A. The chairs of the very important persons. The VIPs chairs. After VIP, you have to insert apostrophe. B. The office of the Deputy Inspector General. The DIG's office. D I G and then apostrophe and S C the pens of the regional transport officers 
the rto apostrophe uh, the rtos apostrophe pens d the supporters of the member of the national assembly the mna is supporter mna and then apostrophe e the supporters of the members of the national assembly your members are plural so mna is after mna is you have to put or you have to insert apostrophe then supporters in the following sentences pick out the adjective clauses and say what nouns they describe a it's raining cats and dogs is a common idiom that means it's raining very heavily so it describes the idiom given b it's no wonder that the weather has had an impact on the english language which is full of weather related idioms here it's no wonder that the weather has had an impact on the english language which is full of weather related idioms is adjective clause describe the english language c it may come as a surprise that antarctica which is seen as a land of snow and ice is adjective clause contains the driest place on earth describes antarctica d in contrast the wettest place on earth is drenched with downpours which fill the streams and rivers to bursting point and sometimes beyond describes the downpours d take in the spectacular sights and marvel at the beauty of the lush and tranquil features that fill this awe inspiring valley that fill this awe inspiring valley is adjective clause describes the features Thanks for listening. For new videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like my videos, please share and like.